Throughout our lifetime, we have heard of many animals. Some of them are with us, and some of them left us a long time ago. And no matter who we have with us, it is a human mechanism to see and witness something beautiful in front of us. Well, if you have ever seen a bearded vulture, you are one of the lucky ones. Bearded vultures, the bone-eating birds, are some of the most beautiful birds ever on our planet, but they also have a fascinating and creepy side. The bone-eating part gets all of us right in our feelings. But there is something more about the bird which makes it so unique. And to enjoy and know about the greatness of this bird, we need to go into detail as we look at the bearded vulture, the bone-eating vulture. Welcome to the channel. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's get started. What it eats? That's the question everyone is going to ask. What does it eat? Does it like humans? Or does it eat us too? <laughs> and to get to the point, no, it does not like to eat humans, but it has a special relationship with bones of every kind, which makes it more complicated and specific for the vulture to find its prey. The bearded vulture's diet is mainly comprised of eating bone and bone marrow. Since the bird has a stomach acid of pH of 1, compared to the pH level of the human stomach, which has a pH level of 1.5 to 3.5, since the stomach of a bearded vulture is highly acidic, it makes it easier for them to digest the bones. The bearded vulture can digest the bones in 24 hours. They sometimes swallow bones whole, but they also like to prey on small insects, lizards, tortoises, and marmots. The bearded vultures roam in places where the more giant predators like wolves or eagles have a consistent population, and they pick up the bones of prey after the predators like eagles and wolves have stripped most of the meat off and then devour the bones. Most of the time, the vultures can't eat the whole bones, so they pick the bones with large talons and attempt to break them by throwing them on hard surfaces, like rocks from a total height. This is something that helps the vulture access the calorie-rich bone marrow. It is also interesting fact to know that bearded vultures are the only species that specialize, or are known to, eat bone marrow to survive. While the adults have an easy process, the kids learn it the rough and ugly way. Most baby vultures feed on adult vultures' vomit. Baby bearded vultures feed on the meat and skin the adult vulture provides them. The bearded vultures also kill small animals that prey on by throwing them from large heights. They also have a strategy for forcing larger animals to fall off the cliffs. But to conclude, they have a unique appetite that is quite difficult to understand. They go by different names in different places. The bearded vultures are known for having different names in different parts of the world. But all these names have one thing in common, they live up to the reputation. The bearded vulture is also called Lammergeier in German, which translates to lamb vulture in German. It was said that the bearded vultures had an appetite for eating livestock animals like lambs, but this theory remains uncertain as there is not enough evidence to prove this. Another good name this bird goes by is Ossifrage, which means bone breaker. This nickname was given because of the unique appetite of the vultures on bones. They have a prestigious heritage and history. These bone-eating birds have been living on this planet for ages, and there is no wonder why we love them so much. They are one of the oldest living species of birds, and they might have been around when the Egyptians were around. And speaking of Egyptians, the Egyptian vultures are its closest relative alive. While they might be different in color, we can still find many similarities. They are endangered as of now. How much these birds are looked up to and sought after happens to be the exact cause of why these birds are preyed on so much. The bearded vultures are very close to being extinct and are currently endangered, and this is one of the lesser known facts about the species. If some responsible people don't take enough steps, we might see the dodo and the bearded vulture on the same list. Many parents who were scared that the vultures may take their babies hunted them down till the brink of extinction at one point. The vultures were eradicated and nowhere to be seen in Eastern Europe by the 1990s. And thanks to many environmental groups and habitats built by organizations, the population has been slowly but steadily rising, and we might see the bearded vulture off the endangered list shortly. Their knack for performing sky dances. Bearded vultures are found to be fun, sportive birds. They have a habit of performing or putting up aerial dances. This included flying high into the sky, heading back at a climactic speed, and then rolling past their nesting areas. These bearded vultures go on high-speed chases, perform mutual circling, and roll over one another. Overall, these beastly creatures seem to have a bit of fun and charm. They make great pets. Yes, you heard that right. 
The same birds we are scared of may take our babies away and are found to be great, sportive, and faithful pets. There have been many people who claim that these bone-eating birds are great pets. Don't believe us? Go and find it yourself on YouTube. You will see hundreds of videos where people hold or caress their pet bearded vultures. Also keep in mind that to pet these birds, you must embrace yourselves to give them a lot of training. They do not have bald heads like other species. This is another small but very specific thing about bearded vultures. The vultures have the trait of being bald or semi-bald, but the bearded vulture does not have that. It has its head filled with feathers and looks similar to an eagle. The hair on the head is something that sets the difference for the bearded vulture. And there seems to be a scientific reason for this one too. Many scientists think that the bearded vulture grows hair on its head because of the difference in its diet compared to other animals and similar species. It is clear that bald head vultures are found in hotter climates and feed on flesh. While on the other side of the pond, the bearded vulture lives at high altitudes and feeds on bones only. The bearded vulture can live up to 45 years. Normally, the bearded vulture has a lifespan of 21 years, but there are many chances it can beat the mark and live more than that. We have to take the circumstances in our mind, too. If things are right and good for the bearded vulture, it can live up to 45 years. And to reach this milestone, they must make the sacrifice of living in captivity and reducing their risks. They are monogamous. It does not come as a surprise to us that these creatures are monogamous. Yes, the bearded vulture is monogamous. These species breed only once a year. Their monogamic behavior has been found in places like Spain and France, and when they find a partner to breed, they take up different responsibilities. These bearded vultures share the territory and come together to share multiple nets. Both birds invest a lot of time into caring for their babies, while the male vultures are more focused on building and defending the nets. The female bearded vultures spend more time with the chick, and sometimes a lone male may join the duo, which angers the males, causing some competition, but it eventually wears down as they form a trio to increase the reproduction if one of the males is infertile. They wear iron-rich compounds as makeup, as we continue to say. The bearded vultures and humans have many things in common, and makeup is one of them. If you pay close attention, you can see the bearded vulture has a cream-colored forehead and the rest of its head has a different color. Their neck and abdomen sometimes have a rusty or orange color to them. These colors are fully cosmetic, as the bearded vultures get this from bathing in iron-rich water and soil. They have one of the largest wingspans a vulture can have. The Lamagires are giant vultures with a total length ranging from 94 to 125 centimeters. It is even more fascinating to know that the wingspan of the bearded vulture is longer than its body, reaching 2.31 to 2.83 meters in length. Which one of these facts fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments. It is always good to hear from you guys.